Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a beginner's guide on the King Black Dragon. Alright, let's get into it. So what you're going to find in this video is the drop table, right? Stats required to do this. Equipment needed. How to get to the KBD. How to kill the KBD. And I'll show you a couple kills after. Right, so this right here is the KBD, right? Now you want to be killing this because it has a pretty good loot table. It was actually one of the very first, actually the very first boss on Old School RuneScape. It came out like, what, like nearly 15 years ago, right? So one of the one of the main drops that you can get from it, right, is the Visage. And it's 1 in 5,000. Now that one's very high. Also, you can get the pet from here, which is... 1 in 3,000, so that's not as bad as 5,000. Anyways, also you can get the Dragon Pit, which has went up heaps, right? It's up to um, 1, like, what is it? 7.1 mil, right? And you can get it in 1 in 115. So if you get one of them, if you camp this for a long time, you're probably going to get one of them. So that's a very good bonus for the trips. Now the bones, they drop two, two um black dag um, dragon hides, right? which add up to, what, 5k, and then you've got the, the one bone, which is like 2k, right? So that adds up every single trip, and every single kill on average is 40, uh, 24k, right? So that is pretty good. All right, for the recommended stats required to do this, right, I'd recommend, if you're doing melee, right, 75 in all melee stats, and at least 43 prayer, so you can have protect from melee, right? The higher, the better in both of them, right? And now for the range setup, I'd recommend at least 75 plus range, right? And say about like, I don't know, 70, 75 um, defense would help also, right? Just so I could stay for a bit longer. Right, now for the gear setup, because this is a beginner's guide, I'll have the most cheapest and basic stuff that you could like, the lowest requirements that you need to take. So what I'm gonna recommend is the helmet as not, right? Now for the for the cape, I'd recommend taking an arty cape, like one, two, three, or four, right? Because it's got um, stab bonus, a strength emblem, a unholy blessing, a now for the shield, a dragon fire shield, right? If you can't afford that, just a um, anti dragon shield, right? Will do the job. But I highly, highly recommend getting the DFS because it will help a lot. Now for your gear, just um, black D hides, top and bottom. And then for your sword, you can have, like for your weapon, a leaf bladed sword, right? Now that's the lowest requirement, it's like 40k and it works really good. It's actually better than a whip. Um, if you've got a bit more money, you can get like the the Semirokian Hasta. And then if you've got a lot and a lot of money, like 90 mil, you can get the Dragon Hunter Lance. Now that's like top end, but most people wouldn't have enough because, yeah, it's, that's really expensive. So I'd recommend just bring a leaf bladed sword is better than the whip right and then for your gloves B gloves or like the best gloves you can take um could even take like combat bracelet if that's all you like haven't done any quests and then for your boots just climbing boots and then ring of wealth for the ring right and this is the best setup because you are going into the wildy so you want to protect like at least four of your main items would protect item one right now for the range setup that i recommend i recommend going with the archer's helm right the Ava's Accumulator, the Glory to get out of there, the Diamond Bolt Ease, right? If you're really low range, you can go, um, what are they called? Uh, Ruby, Di uh, Ruby E or whatever they are, and basically they hit like a 48 by chance, but if you're over like 75 range, like I recommend, I recommend going with the Diamond Bolt Ease, right? And just with a Rune Crossbow, and then for the Shield, you don't want a DFS, whatever you do, it lowers your ranging, right? So you just want the normal anti-dragon shield, right? And then for what you're going to wear is just the um, the black D hide, top and bottom. And then for your gloves, you want to wear B gloves if you can, like if you have them unlocked. If not, just the black vamps will do fine. Snakeskin boots, and then for the ring, you just want a ring of wealth, right? But right, now you've got both the beginner guys sorted. We're going to show you the inventory, right? So now this is the inventory I recommend. So if you're ranging, obviously being a range pot, if you're melee, obviously bring a com uh, super combat potion, right? So you're gonna need one of them, and then you want an extended anti-fire, a antidote plus plus plus, super restore, four prayer pots, 
um, the rest except two in sharks, right? And then a burning amulet and then a house teleport, right? right? So now how to get to KBD, right? Now it's very, very simple. All you're going to need is your burning amulet, right? And then you're going to rub it and basically teleport to Lava Mace, which is at 41 Wilderness. So we'll go up there. There may be PKs, you've got to remember this. So we got lucky, there's no one here. So it's very simple from here. I'll put up a little map thing. But basically, you just run west up to this cage, right? So you teleport there, you run up here through this gate. A lot, like some people do PK there, so you've got to be like kind of careful. As you can see, like there's a little 63 there. Okay, now once you go down here, there is a cave thing here. <clears throat> there is a um, lever to pull. If you pull it, it'll take you straight into the KBD layer. And then... So it just says that there's no one inside of it. So you can actually click on the second thing and go down there. Now if you want a private one, you pay 50k and you get a private room to yourself. I do not recommend this. I just recommend just going into a normal world. Going in, pray mage at the start, right? Pot up. So use your... And uh, extended anti fire your antidote now go down in there. Now, there could be people here, which there isn't. And now, to do the kill, you basically want to put on your highest melee prayer, right? And then you want to put on persevere, right? Also, and then once you get close, you want to put on protect from melee, right? And this is how you're going to kill it. So, you're going to stand real close and just protect from melee. Now you will take a little bit of damage, but this is the best way to do it. Like you take a lot less by just um, sitting here and attacking him like this. And so what you want, you're gonna want to eat like at least a couple food because you need to pick up, or you want to pick up all the loot, right? So as you can see, the bolt is doing work here. This is the prayer, how I would pray. So protect melee, like I said, your highest, um, your range prayer. If you have rigor, use rigor. If not, just use this one. Or even the lower one if you do not have 44 prayer. Now this just helps keep your stats up, like your protect from um your range pot, it will just keep it 50% longer, and like your extended fires. So I highly recommend having this on. It's like 100 k from the GE, the scroll to use it. Now this kill is nearly done. So we're frozen, he has a frozen attack. And he has a thing where he can um, poison you. So we'll have our first feed here. First bit of food, we'll eat up a little bit. We'll eat up again. And now we'll just finish off this kill. Now this is in the most welfare gear you can go here. It does work very good. This boss has a lot of health, so you just gotta work it down. But anyone could go with this gear. Like, look what I'm wearing. It's like less than 200k gear, and it works very well here. You get like a lot of kills per hour. The spawn time also on the KBD is very, very quick. So I believe we'll be back in like six seconds after this, which is very good. So you just have enough time, grab the loot real quick, eat up to full, get your prayer back up to full. Make sure that you are um, that you are still anti um, extended anti fired. We'll eat up again, prep pot again, and we'll finish this kill off. Now I am only 89 range, so I wouldn't be doing like the craziest, quickest kills. People are a lot higher, like with 99 um, range, you will get a lot quicker kills in this setup. So there is the first kill there, put your prayer off, go up to full, and as you can see, we got the rune long, which is actually a pretty good drop. We will actually do a quick price check. Actually, the spawn is up already. So when we start off, you can do prey mage, running close to him, and then melee, right? And then back at it. So I'll just send over this. What was our total kill for that was 26k, 26.8k, which is pretty damn good if you ask me. That was like a quick minute or two kill, and that is what you get from it. All right, so I'll do I'll do a few more kills. See if I get anything lucky. I'll just do like, probably like I don't know, like 20, 30 more, just for a few like half an hour or so. See what I get, and then I'll come back with some loot. 
Alright, coming up now, we've done about 8 kills. In total, we've made like 200k roughly. Here's some of the drops that we've got. It's gone very well. Now I'm going to do a melee trip for you, just so you can have a go at that. If, have a have a guess at that if you want to have a go at it, right? So, here is the melee one. Alright, so this is the melee gear setup that I'm going with. I'll show you that the leaf bladed sword does work really good because it's high. It's got very, very high attack uh, stab bonus, right? And that is what they're weak to, right? So this is the setup I'm going to be rocking, the inventory, I've already showed you all about it, so let's get up there. Alright, so we'll head on up, check for magic, I always do that at the start just here, just in case someone is there. And take it off now, we know no one's here. So you want the DFS with this setup, it works a lot better. So we just missed actually a PK, we got lucky there. Anyways, we'll run down, we'll run in here. So at the entrance I like to pot up, just like I do with the range, so pot up with these three, so your, like your boosting combat, your super combat, your extended, um, your extended anti fire, and the antidote plus plus plus, now we'll go in, now it's the same thing you want to protect from melee, run up to him, protect from melee right, use your highest, use piety if you have it, and you want to use Preserve, right? Now this is going to make it like last longer. So my DFS is still charging up. But look at these hits, ready? I'll put the XP on. Look how good this thing hits on this, right? And we've got it on Lash, right? Lash, which is actually stab, right? We can put it on here even, it'll hit even more like hit more often. Anyways, this is how you do it. This is a much easier method, right? It's a lot, a lot easier. You just sit back, basically click on it once. Leave um the auto retaliate on and it'll do it all for you, right? It's very, very simple. As you can see, this probably works even better than the range because you just you honestly are hitting a lot better, especially with the stats I've got. The melee works a lot better. Now you can use the Hasta, the the Zemi Hasta, or if you're like really rich you can get the Dragon Lance, um, whatever it is, that real deer thing is like 90 mil. But this is just a beginner's guide, so hopefully everyone can afford a 40k item right you can change the um, dragon fire shield to just um anti-fire shield or anti-dragon shield just the basic one but as you can see we didn't even need to eat that food but we will we'll take some more prayer so about one kill um one food each kill this is a lot better than the range for me just because i kill it quicker and i can tank it a lot better with the dfs right so this is the melee way um, I'll get a few kills, so hopefully we get something special, if not all good. Anyways, I'll be back in a little bit and show you if we get anything. Alright guys, so it's about 1 mil an hour here. I'm going to keep grinding at it with melee right. See if I can get that visage, that pet, or even that D pick right. The D pick is only 1 in 100, uh, 1,500, which is doable. A very quick boss to kill, it's very easy, it's pretty AFK. And I highly recommend for your first boss come here to try this out. It's one of the easiest bosses too. The easiest bosses to learn and do. You just need all righty stats and you'll be fine to go here, right guys? Anyways, check out my merchandise. I'll put it up on the screen right now. There'll be a link down in the description box below this video of where you can go suss this out. Get one yourself. It's all RuneScape related stuff. You'll really like all the stuff and there's going to be new stuff every single day, right? Anyways, guys, until the next video, hit that like button and subscribe for many more.